first thing that I kind of want to talk about, you know, most recently the talks. I'm not sure if anything's changed, um, but they're talking about giving Florian the next shot at Aldo. Okay. Bullshit. He came, yeah, he came in. He Sorry, beat, I had to throw that out. No, that's okay, man. I freaking agree with you. I think it's bullshit, too. But, I mean, like, he came in. He beat Diego Nunes. Um, it, it wasn't even a very good defeat, either. No. It's not like he trounced him in the first round to deserve that title shot. <laughs> not at all, how many man. Times, how, many, how many times in that fight did Nunes rock Florian? Like, two, three, four? You know what? I'll be honest, man. Four, I skipped right over it. It, it. It's not even a fight that interested me. No. <laughs> no, it really isn't. Like, I actually picked D um, Diego Nunes to win because no offense to Kenny Florian. Like, we were talking about – Jesse and I were talking about it on uh, on the first – episode and you know you know uh, we were just kind of talking about that card and i actually picked noons to win it's not that i don't like kenny florian i think he's a great guy you know what i mean he's got a lot of talent but i just don't think he's championship material he's just one of those guys that i think will never hold a title um because there are some guys i mean we have to you know we have to admit that there's guys in mixed martial arts that are, that are, you know that's just never going to hold a belt um now could kenny florian maybe go to bellator or something and hold a belt Possibly, but I just don't think he's ever going to hold a belt in the UFC. Um, and people can hate me for that or whatever, but I, that's just my opinion. But he comes in and he, you know, doesn't really decisively beat Nunes. Like if, like he would have came in and ran through him, submitted him in the first or second round, I would have been like, all right, you know what I mean? Maybe give him Aldo or maybe give him one more fight. But either way you slice it, I really think that Florian should have at least one more fight before he goes and fights Jose Aldo. Um, there's plenty of guys in 145 that's ranked higher than Diego Nunes, and um, I would like to see it. I would like to see Florian get at least one more fight, at least one more fight, before he gets a shot at Aldo. Because, personally, I don't think it's fair to any other featherweight in that division that's been kicking ass and moving their way up. Next thing you know, this guy comes in, gets one fight, and gets a title shot. I kind of think it's a step back for the featherweight division. Uh, the, uh, Dana White brought these guys in from uh, WEC to be on a bigger card, a bigger stage, right? And then what do you do? You throw in one of your mainstream UFCers who decides to drop, and all of a sudden now he's got a title shot. Just like you hit on the head, you have all these guys at 145 who have been working their asses off for years, and and all of a sudden big old Kenny Florian gets it, he drops down, and uh, he wins one fight that wasn't even spectacular, and all of a sudden, and, and, and uh, we hit it on the head the first time, too. It's about money, man. It's the marketing, you know. And right. uh, I, I think that's, that's, that, that was the biggest role in uh, Kenny Florian getting this title shot. I would agree, and it seems a lot to me like they're, they're doing basically the same thing they did with Shields. They, they, they gave him Campman first. He had a lackluster performance at best. And then they gave him right to GSP. And... Uh, I don't know if you've seen that fight, but I was live that night, and that was really probably one of the worst fights I've ever seen in my life. It really wasn't even a fight. Well, in the Martin Campman fight, Campman had Campman was stupid. I mean, you know what? I like I love Martin. I mean, he's a great fighter, and Campman was dumb. He kept trying to showcase his jujitsu skills when all he had to do really is keep the fight standing up. He was battering shields. All he had to do was keep it standing up, and every time it went to the ground, he kept going down, wasting energy, trying to get all these submissions. How are you supposed to submit a guy who's one of the top grapplers in the world? Come on, Campman's not that good at jujitsu. But when they were standing on their feet, he was battering. He was battering Jake. He had that fight. He had it in the bag, and he let it go. Right, Shields' stand-up is uh, uh, mediocre at best. Um, I have faster hands than Jake Shields, and I have no hands. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I'm, you know, surprised I that, I'm surprised that Jake Shields' gloves even touched GSP's face. I know, I know. He caught him one time, and that's just the thing, you know, and I completely, you know, and I completely agree with Jason, too, you know what I mean? And I think a lot of people would as well. You bring Shields in, hasn't lost in like 21 years, but he's, um, and in all honesty, Shields... Besides Henderson, who beat the shit out of him in the first round, and then Shields just laid on top of him for the next four rounds. But um, you have a guy like Jake Shields who hasn't lost in a very long time, um, but he really hasn't fought anybody like GSP, Fitch, BJ Penn, nothing like that. And I would have liked to have seen Shields 
fight one more time. You know what I mean? And not GSP. You know, after Martin Kamen, I would have liked to have seen a rematch. I would have liked to have seen Dana said, okay, automatic rematch between Kamen and Shields. You know what I mean? He does it for everybody else. Why not do it for Kamen? Um, or, you know, give him anybody else. Give him Fitch. Let me see how Shields does with Fitch. If Shields thinks he's such a great grappler, um, put him against the, you know, the ex-Purdue wrestling captain and John Fitch. I mean, granted, it might be the worst 15 minutes that we've ever watched. But um, <laughs> it really would be, I think. I mean, unless Fitch, like, brought something and just completely, you know what I mean? Like, because I enjoy grappling. I, you know, I enjoy watching decisions. I don't mind it. But I want to see, like, someone doing Greco-Roman suplexes and beating the shit out of people. I mean, I just don't like to see, you know, kind of like Strike Force Challengers last night. I fell asleep. But I think, I think <laughs> S.H.I.E.L.D. Should have gotten one, you know, at least one, you know, one more guy. Just, you know, just like Florian, I think Florian should get one more guy. Um, you know what I mean? What Chad Mendez is hurt, right? That's why that he pulled out. Uh, yeah, I heard something about Mendez hurt himself, and so, but you know, the whole thing goes to exactly what we were talking about before. Is just what's a more marketable fight? Who, how are you going to sell out an arena somewhere with Chad Mendez versus Jose Aldo? Maybe. Aldo's a big enough superstar that, you know, you'll you'll fill some seats. But yes. you add Kenny Florian, who also, like I said, is a main he's a mainstay, you know, with the organization. He's always been in big fights. You put him in against Jose Aldo, now you fill the seats. Right. And that's the thing that we were talking about last time too, that it's just the uh uh it's the media and marketing thing, and they see, you know, huge potential to make money off of this, and that's why they're putting... Ooh, I think someone else is calling it, maybe. But, uh, um, but yeah, I mean, the thing is this, is that they are just basically marketing and meeting, try to make some money, you know what I mean? Like, what happens when you bring Florian in and Aldo runs through him? Because I really don't think that Florian is going to have a very nice time with Jose Aldo. Um, not at all. Yeah, I think I, I would definitely agree with you. I, I think uh, I don't think Kenny Florian's even ready for a guy like Jose Aldo. Not even close. Right. right. <laughs> well, we all see hey, what Hominick did. Of, you know what sorry, I mean? I just want to uh, real quick. Mark, Mark Hominick took Jose all you know all five rounds, and I know that, that that Aldo dominated for you know four and a half rounds, but uh, he was also battling like the flu or something. And uh, I, I, you know, honestly, I, I would have liked to have seen Kenny Florian actually fight Mark Hominick to see, you know, what would happen there. I honestly right. think Mark would beat him. So do I. And I was going to say that, too. I think that Florian's next fight and Hominick's next fight should have been with each other. And I think that that's a good fight. Um, it would really test Florian because I don't think Florian's stand-up um, is very good at all. And Hominick, as we all saw, I mean, his stand-up is decent. It's not as good as Aldo's. But, I mean, Hominick is a beast. And my respect for Hominick shot through the roof after that fight. Um, and personally, I hope that fight happens again between him and Aldo. I'm a huge Aldo fan, um, but I'm also a huge Hominick fan now. And I would love to see that fight happen again because I think it'd be, I think it'd be a little closer the first uh, few rounds. Because now that Hominick has seen Aldo... And Aldo himself even said that, uh, uh, you know, that he doesn't want to fight Hominick again. <laughs> He's like, there's no reason. I already beat him. Well, I'll tell you the freaking reason. is because he got his face smashed in for the past five, you know, for the last five minutes of the fight. He doesn't want that to happen again. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I would like to see Florian and, like, Hominick fight. I mean, that would be – that fight would make sense to me. And then I don't, really don't know who you give Aldo, you know. I think Mendes. the only one left is Mendez. I, I think once Mendez is healed, it, it's, it's really right. the only one left. It's true. I mean, it, I guess uh, it, for for that whole thing, that whole scenario to play out, it would really depend on when Mendez will be able to come back. Uh, maybe give Aldo an extra few months to, to relax, you know. I mean, he just defended, and, uh, and, and it was a five-round, you know, battle royale with him and Hominick. And then you pull Hominick out of, I forget who Hominick's supposed to fight next, but you pull him out of that fight, you 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 know you give him Florian, and that that makes total sense because Hominick just you know like you just said a lot of Dana White will give a lot of guys you know immediate rematches, 
why does Hominate got it? Why does he not get an, in an immediate rematch? You know, right. and if not, then give him a guy like Florian. If Florian wants to prove himself so much, let them two battle it out for number one contender. Yeah, absolutely. And I'll say one thing: if like Hominic and Florian would have happened, and Florian would have walked in and then beat Hominic in decisive fashion, um, then yeah, sure, give Florian a shot because Hominic just fought Aldo.